Hi, this is Ken Riley, an architect on the product team. Let's take a few minutes to talk about drop-in and specifically the drop-in builder. So drop-in is a tool that allows you to integrate payments as well as terms and compliance into your checkout flow. Drop-in builder is a tool that allows you to see drop-in, how it works, configure it, and then see the code that you need to insert into your checkout flow. So let's take a look. The drop-in builder tool has a welcome message if you want to create your own test account or use your own API keys. Otherwise, we already have a couple test keys configured for you. Step one is where you can select checkout flow or managing save payment methods. That changes some of the options below, but you may also notice that it's one of the first configuration options within drop-in. For the sake of this demo, let's stick with checkout flow. Step two has some configuration options that would normally come from your Digital River API checkout. It's worth mentioning that the checkout session ID is an important configuration so that drop-in can pull in these checkout details. For the sake of the tool though, you can select your own countries and currencies, digital or physical, and some other options. Step three has many of the configuration options that control the look of drop-in. You can show a save payment checkbox, customize the continue button, and a handful of other options. You'll notice the code changing in the examples. So before you build drop-in, let's take a quick look at the code. The first thing you'll see are the two files you need to include, the Digital River JavaScript library and the style sheet. After that is the JavaScript you include, which has your public key, the configurations we've been talking about, and the custom functions that you use to interact with drop-in. I would also like to point out that there is no payment method specific code for drop-in. Drop-in automatically displays the correct payment methods based off your checkout conditions and the payment methods that are configured for your account. Here's a quick look at the Digital River dashboard where you can configure your payment methods. Finally, you'll have your empty div container where drop-in will be rendered. All right, so let's build drop-in. Uh, the tool returns some test credit card numbers, so I'll copy this MasterCard number, and then let's take a look at the output. So we've got our different payment methods, credit card, PayPal, wire transfer, Klarna, and we've got Digital River UK as the terms being shown based off the country and locale. Uh, but let's change a couple things. So let's change it to Germany and Euros. Uh, let's turn off the save payment methods and let's go with uh, submit order and rebuild drop-in. And then you'll see that we now have uh, our German translations and we've got SEPA and other uh, Euro related payment methods showing based on the checkout settings. So let's go ahead and submit our test order. Now that drop-in has been submitted, the tool will show you the response below. The most important information is the payment source ID that you will apply back to your checkout. Other information like the fact that it's in a chargeable state is also useful. To learn more about drop-in, check out the drop-in integration guide, specifically the drop-in options, which covers the different configuration options in more detail, including some screenshots. And that's been a quick overview of the drop-in builder tool.